all this apply to South Africa? I think that if we accept that the crucial point here is that we are a new democracy, that we are going through these tests, the first point that I want to make before I discuss some of the political dynamics is that the fact that we have gone through democratic tests and are going through democratic tests is neither surprising uh, nor particularly shocking. And so that uh, when we read debates about potential measures uh, to, to deal with the media, uh, when we, to be very topical and, and current today, when we talk about the future of the judiciary and what kind of constitutional court we're going to have, if we cast our minds back uh, a few years and we remember the controversy over the allegation that a particular judge was trying to influence senior judges and members of the constitutional court to find in favor of a senior politician. All of these are entirely normal tests. And we should not be particularly surprised when they happen. What we should be looking at, what we should be concerned about, is how we actually get through these tests. Because the way in which democracy gets built, the way in which democracy gets strengthened, the way in which democracy gets developed, is if those tests are successfully passed. Because each time a society passes a test like that, it in a sense sets a precedent, and the precedent is uh, that those people, to put it very bluntly, because that's very often the way in which it happens, those people who have been convinced that they could exercise power in an unaccountable and unresponsive way, discover that it was actually a lot more difficult than they thought, uh, and, and that uh, they, it was not quite what they'd hoped it would be, and therefore, to put it bluntly in common language, they tend to think twice before doing it again. Uh, and the good news is that over time, various patterns can develop in which this kind of behavior, this kind of accountable and responsive behavior, uh, appears much more normal. And I think that <coughs> if one looks at South Africa over the past few years, there are many issues in the society which we ought to be concerned about. But I'd have to say that right now, the extent to which we've succeeded in, part, in, in dealing with these tests is not one of the issues which Democrats ought to be too terribly concerned about. Uh, the reality is that as I speak to you today, there are no significant controls on the free media. The, the judiciary remains independent, uh, and values like freedom of speech uh, and freedom of assembly remain respected within the society. Uh, and this despite the fact that we have, in fact, <laughs> gone through very real tests over the last few years uh, which have put those particular values and their practice under pressure. 